Would you please just be quiet? I hissed as my daughter raised her voice once again. My eyes darted back and forth, searching for any movement on our street, any evidence that our neighbors were outside and within earshot of my noisy family. Life with a tween and a toddler is awfully loud a lot of the time, and it can be embarrassing. Between backtalk from one and tantrums from the other, silence is a hot commodity around here. Our street is a quiet one, which only highlights our not-so-quiet family. Since we moved here last summer, I've worried about what our neighbors must think of us. We've arrived in this community excited to meet new people and share our lives and our faith with them. But insecurity and the need to please quickly eclipsed those good intentions. One day, as I buckled my youngest into our car, I heard voices. I saw an open garage door and realized another mom was just as exasperated and expressive as I often find myself. I heard her holler at her kids to get in the car, and it hit me. I'd been wasting time hiding away and trying to control my family's appearance for people I'd never met. When I could have been walking across the street to introduce myself and my noisy kids, I neglected the chance to connect in my effort to impress. It's impossible to love our neighbors when we're worrying about what those neighbors might think of us. Choosing love requires humility and honesty instead of perfection and protecting reputations. It might even mean letting my kids run wild in our front yard while I introduce myself to that mom across the street.